My morning routine usually means looking at my phone before I get out of bed, and usually that's not very stressful and nothing's on fire, so I don't really need to do that. It's just a habit, unfortunately, that um, I've had for you know over a decade of, of running businesses. I get out of bed, I make a coffee, I have to let my poodles outside. I have three poodles, um, so that's... It's, the mornings could be more peaceful. Um, if I tried to meditate, there would be three poodles crawling on me, so um, that's unfortunate, but they're, they're really lovely. Um, I'll hop on the treadmill for 20 minutes just to do something that makes me feel good about myself, and then I'll get dressed and I'll come into the office. I'm a big fan of self-care. It's something I never really craved and wasn't very good at earlier in my career and I've experienced burnout and I realized how important it is to take care of yourself and to invest in yourself. My counter is um, flooded in you know skincare products and you know we always want that like beautiful um, countertop that's clean in our bathroom and I just absolutely gave up on that and so I'm always trying new things. Um, I love a good infrared sauna um, and I love like a like a short run in the morning even if I get 20 minutes in, that's something that makes me feel great for the day. I spend too much time comparing myself on social media, like I'm as guilty as anybody else and it's really hard to watch people's in, you know, Instagram stories where they're at a fancy dinner or they're uh, on a vacation, it just feels like everybody's always on vacation. I've done social media detoxes, you know, I've been in times where the things that are said about me are really challenging to read. That's something that comes with the territory when you're the CEO of a company that everybody's looking at. Um, and so I've, I've deleted the app for weeks at a time. I never delete my account, but I make it really hard for myself to look at what's happening, which means I need to download it and sign back in, which I might do periodically, but just not having it on my phone is an easy way to make it you know, less, um, less easy for me to spend too much time on social media. The best piece of business advice, and it's really life advice, is that life is a marathon and not a race. Um, it's really easy to feel like we should accomplish everything at once. We're watching some of our friends uh, do things sooner than we are, and you know, it sometimes takes time to know what you want to do, and it takes trying different things, and it can feel like that takes more time out of your life, and maybe you're not where you wanna be by the time you're 30, and I don't think people realize how young 30 really is, and that um, in the past, like 40-ish was where women really started hitting their strides, and because of what we're seeing on social media, and uh, it, it's easy to feel like we're not keeping up, and everybody has a different path, and that's something we should embrace. I struggle with self-doubt every day. I don't, I don't think that ever escapes anybody. If they say it does, they're lying. Um, it's probably the most ancient thing in the world. It's probably the most normal thing in the world. And I think there's a fine line between um, self-awareness and self-deprecation. That's kind of like a line I'm always um, balancing because we, we never really want to be too hurtful to ourselves. But um, I'm a generally confident person, but I've been through enough to know how hard things really are. And I miss being naive to a certain extent. Um, that's a, that's a great time. I'd say having been in positions where I failed relatively publicly, and again, it's like not failure. I think that's a really difficult word because nothing's final and we learn from everything. I think having a chip on your shoulder is really good, um, and I definitely have one. I want to pull off whatever it is that I strive to do, but it's a scary thing to, to try to do every day, and that fear does kind of propel you um, if you let it. The future of Girl Boss is really giving women the tools and resources and connections they need to level up. Um, we're here to redefine what success means because it isn't just all the way up financially and career-wise, it's how we take care of ourselves. You know, we live in a world where we've been told that success is just work and money, and that's not really the case. How we feel inside, how well we're taking care of ourselves is just as important as what we're accomplishing. And that definition is different for everybody and really breaking down and debunking the theory that everyone should be marching you know, to the same goals is a really dangerous thing. Our community inspires me. The girls who have used hashtag girlboss 12 million times on Instagram, 
um, the women who show up at our conferences, who are talking to us on social media. They're why we're here. I mean, they're why we're building this. We're not building this to please ourselves. We're building this to create the tools, resources, and connections that they're, they're really kind of craving. Hi, I'm Sophia Amoruso, and this is How I Live Strong.